Love it. That is right. It is time for the weekend brew. Uh, just powered by our friends at the Scene Magazine. The Scene is a place where an action or event happens, and for 17, actually 18 years, the Scene Magazine has been giving those living, working, and playing along the waterfront capital of Texas and the home of human space flight a reason to get out of the house and do something, although these are trying times for getting out of the house and doing something, <laughs> no right? <kidding. laughs> and on that note, unfortunately, uh, we've got some bad news. The Willow Fest, uh, Brazoria County Fairgrounds, uh, was canceled right before we went on the air. So yeah. uh, that's unfortunate. But there's still plenty of reasons to get out of the house. And, of course, one we already talked about, the St. Patrick's Day celebration here at Saloon Door, right, on Saturday. Yes, we Absolutely. Are having green beer. Uh, there were rumors, although I'm not sure if they're true or not, of green toilet paper from uh, the, the lead brewer here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Beef yeah. Room. It's all have yes. <laughs> But there's a lot of stuff going on. So tonight over at T-Bone Tom's, one of a uh, favorite band of, oh, yeah. of this show, The Blaggards, uh, is, is playing. Uh, tomorrow night over at Katie's, which... If you're not familiar with Katie's over there in Baycliff, it's one of the better live music venues in the whole region. Have, have you ever been to Katie's, oh. Sylvia? Hold on, I think I, I think I muted everybody, so I shouldn't ask questions. And then... I have never been there. Um, so it's yeah. the old Baycliff Post Office, and now it's a live music venue that's owned by a musician, and they literally play live music six really? nights a week. Yeah, it's yeah. Got, brings in a lot of bands from Austin, from the Chicago scene, a lot of touring bands. I mean, I'm going to put it on my list. It yeah, sounds, yeah, you it definitely should great. check definitely should check out Katie's. But uh, uh, tomorrow night they've got Mark May. Uh, who's you know pretty pretty well known guitar player, singer songwriter, actually guitar ace. So he's at he's at Katie's um, this mm-hmm. Saturday over at Jackie's Brick House mm-hmm. over there in Kima. The Slags are are playing. Oh nice. Yeah, that's that's oh, kind shit. of a yeah it's it's a it's a fan favorite right. You yep. know they're they're best known for the Astros uh, post party celebration. Yeah, but uh, and they've been playing this area for years and years. And, uh, you know, there's always a good music at Scout Bar, I think, tomorrow night. Uh, there's, uh, you know, are you all into tribute bands at all? I mean, that's, uh, that's Yes, uh, yes, sign bands. me up. <laughs> so, it, you know, it's amazing how many good tribute bands are flo- floating out oh, there, right? Man. So, uh, you know, Who but... Is uh, Who is So, it? at Scout Bar this weekend, they've got the Deft Ones, which... Uh, Deftones. Okay, oh. Boom, Deftones and Revolver, which is a tribute band for... Velvet? That, which, that would make sense, right? But Rage Against the... Tri- uh, Rage Against the Machine, machine. Yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, so, um, okay. So I'm supposed to see those guys live in May. Oh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> we can that's make a trip a, out that, there. That's, that's an exciting show. Yeah, they're not coming here, right? They're, you have to go. Pending ch- coronavirus. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I'm going to fly to Chicago. Okay, I was about to say, I was about to ask where you're going to catch them out. Yeah, because yeah, I, I don't even I think I don't even think they're hitting Texas at all, are no, they? Or it, like It's my birthday. Shenanigan. It's my birthday. <laughs> it's shake it anyway. Hey. Well hey, played. Hey, you know hey. what? Hey. <laughs> My wife's like, go it do it. It does make sense. He is the shortest of the three brewers. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to fly me on miles. Yeah, we'll see how it plays Nice, out. nice. Well, hopefully. I've I mean, never I... seen Rage in my life. But when I, I was not, 14, I loved them. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so recently I saw a and that video. Was like 30 years ago. <laughs> Well, I'm than sure you'll have me, a great so, time. Yeah, you know. Like, what the hell is that all about? <laughs> yeah. Right, right. This is Zach Day La Rocha, yeah. No, no, yeah. so uh, I think their first ever public, and there's actually YouTube of their first ever public performance. They don't do it, And it, it was at a college in 1991, and or maybe it's 92, and the reason I know that is Damn. because literally I was a freshman at that same point, so now this is a college of California. It's probably like uh, you never see Cal- California, Santa Barbara, or something. Yeah. You know, but I was thinking, how cool would that have been for you to just happen to catch Rage Against the Machine? And they they killed it, man. Yeah, I bet you know, it is. Well, you're in college, yeah. your first ever public show, first ever public show, and it's on YouTube. I, you know, check yeah, it out. Oh, I'm gonna nice. check it out. I, I'm a super. Guy. I, I saw a Soundgarden when I was 17. Boom! Wow. Damn. That's Which, awesome. Yeah, you are younger than I am. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I saw them when Which I did. Which is a good thing. No, because damn. Right. I saw the yeah, I, th- no. I saw the Jackson uh, Victory Tour when I was uh, yeah. <laughs> twelve. <laughs> damn it! <laughs> I saw Kiss when I was like ten. <laughs> I saw. I'm trying, uh, trying to figure out when I saw Nine Inch Nails, but I don't even want to. Oh, nice! No, I, actually, I, no, I didn't see them. I, I saw Selena was... when I was 15. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> R.I.P., yeah. Oh, we're all coming clean. <laughs> we're all name dropping. 
Yeah. Right, exactly. right. Okay, Alexander, you got to drop a drop a show. Well, no, I, I I saw Kiss when I was ten. I think I saw that's uh, pretty impressive. Yeah, I saw Mumford when I was twenty. 23? Nice. Yeah, nice. if you said you saw them when you were 10, I was going to try to... No. I was oh. like, the calculator was about to explode. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> trying, to, trying to figure that out. Sylvia, show. I mean, you know... I didn't go uh, okay, to a, a whole lot of music shows when I was a teenager. I didn't so really... So you don't even have to, You can go young and or just drop just a show. Just, so yeah, I will yeah. tell you that when I was about... 11 or 12, my mom did take me to the mall and we saw Hanson. Oh, guy. nice. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't even know that. So, <laughs> I got to repeat here. Come all right, on, man. all right. Dude, now that's what I call music. Come on. I, I saw, Volume one. I saw 21 Pilots when I was 41. Yeah. Oh. And my son told me to see them. Yeah. Nice. And that changed my life. Oh. Awesome. So that yeah. means you see them in the future. That's, that's like my favorite <laughs> band now, so... Who knew that your five, a seven-year-old kid would like that? Like, that's that's the band you like. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, we're we're kind of past the weekend brew, but I wanted to mention yeah, a fun on, event that I'm going to be at on Saturday. Um, speaking of you know St. Patrick's, we talked a little bit about that. Val's having a St. Patrick's celebration as well on Saturday, um, and he's going to have crawfish out there, and nice. Patty o, Patty O'Brien's is going to be playing beer. So there's going to be some beer releases. Bring a chair, enjoy the party. It's probably going to be packed. Um, so my plan is to come here to Saloon Door, maybe have uh, lunch, you know, some Rubens. <laughs> that's right. Y'all got some Rubens. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then yeah. uh, shut it down over there, which is just a quick. Because that's elevator. close to your house. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it is. It's so. my neighborhood yeah. brewery. Well, I, I balance it between Bockfish and Valentin's. They're both five minutes up the road from me. But, um, but yeah, I just wanted to mention mm-hmm. that yeah. before we that's got That's a really uh, cool idea. That is a good idea to start further away <laughs> and then end Work it closer versus, yes. versus, yeah. versus start closer and then end further. Absolutely. So that never ends well. Yeah. That, that's always a more expensive <laughs> And There's always this, a bottle of Sheriff's well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Al- Al- Always. Although there's, always, there's a story, baby. Yeah. But, you know. All the time. And this is the part where we have dead air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Should we wrap it? Are we going to wrap it? Or are we going to keep going? we got to keep going. We gotta have it. you got to get in the tower number two real quick. It's up to you. Tower number three. <laughs> this is your show, John. Yeah, man, I'm just having a good time. Me I'm too. I'm having I mean, a great this is, time. This is, this, yeah. is, this is fun. This is, this is one of the funnest I'm, shows. I'm uh, here drinking beer. I'm at the same point in this beer when the last time Sylvia got up and got us a oh! <laughs> <laughs> But But I, I can go get us a round if we yeah. want a round. I'm already man, I'm in on that. I, I, mean, you know, uh, I mean, count man, me yeah, in, yeah, I suppose. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll fill. We'll, we'll. Dot right. com. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and while he's filling beers, we can continue to talk. Yeah. yeah. Uh, best so, best yeah. show, best, favorite concert day. yet. Favorite concert yet. So, oh, man. Metallica, hands Ooh. down. Metallica, it just, they just put on a great show. It's so loud. It's so intense. And um, Alex is trying to kill my ears. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they just put on a great show. I actually went I went to two concerts this week, Monday and Tuesday oh, night. Wow. I was drained. Nice. Um, Monday night, I saw Devin Townsend, um, which was great. And then yeah, um, what, on, whatever you recommend. on Tuesday, we did a Spanish rock thing, so it was pretty fun. I'm just, you know, you have to balance out your music. And it, Monday and Tuesday, it's not a great night for uh, concert nights, I'll just no, tell you that. It's a Monday. <laughs> it's a right? Monday, it's a right? Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I, I went through it. It was yeah. fun. I don't it's regret it. Although, although one one little hack or one little trick, if Scout Bar has a show on Monday, Tuesday, mm-hmm. Monday or Tuesday, or even Sunday now, they used to have the, 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 the Texas buzz on Sundays, but now they don't. If Scout has a show on Monday or Tuesday, it's going to be a national act, and it's going to be an act that usually doesn't play a venue so intimate as Scout Bar. So, oh, yeah, yeah, so. And I love that. I love the fact that they'll get big names, um, but it's such a small venue, and you can see right, every, you're up against it, right? every every seat in that place is the you know the best yeah. seat. No, you know? Scout Bar's ruined me for going to the Woodlands. I mean, I, I can't do it anymore. I mean, you know, because I'm yeah. used to being so close. Now, you know, now I don't like going to places and watching up on the Jumbotron, right? Or, yeah. You know, it's, stadium it's concerts yeah. are the worst. Speaking of stadium concerts, I know that they canceled the rodeo, the Houston Rodeo, yeah, um, a- which is a really unfortunate event. Um, Absolutely. But they, yeah. had a t- they had a ton of really good, you know, acts this year, too. Some new stuff, too. Right. They always they always do a good job mixing up bringing bringing some you know some pop and some different mm-hmm. some, you know hitting it from some different angles not you know obviously you know good good country acts but uh, 
Yeah, it's 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 really it's really a shame. Uh, some of the, some of the shows that have been canceled here recently. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I, I applied them for that, or I applaud them for that because the, you know you don't hear about a whole lot of rodeos or anything that's going on like this that it, that that not only contributes to charity, you know, to children's scholarships and but also bringing in like Lizzo and Gwen yeah. Stefani. Yeah. And Tejano Night with Ramon Ayala. Yeah. You know what um, I mean? Unfortunately, it's, yeah. unfortunately the, that this happened. Yeah. yeah. So a little. Uh, so one thing that I did uh, yesterday, and, and I've got a little craft beer hack for for you know. So first of all, I went to took the kids to the beach real quick, just a day trip there and back. You know, spring on, break, on right? The, on the ch- yeah. <laughs> felt bad because you know, truthfully, uh, I've been t- busier than I wish I was and the kids have been home and you know I haven't been able to do everything with them I mean I'd love them I'd love to go on some kind of cool trip but you true know, that yeah not 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 my world but anyway so we made a real quick trip down to Galveston and uh, two things number one um, you know the Kroger over there near 61st Street so mm-hmm. they've got you know you know I can go and build a pack of beer at a lot of places you know yeah, like a pick a six yeah yeah pick a six mm-hmm. but this um uh, this uh, they had a deal where it's pick a six, it's nine ninety nine, no matter what it was. They had you know Houston Hayes. I mean, they had, you know, they had literally. I mean, literally, I could have put together a six pack of Houston Hayes for nine ninety nine, which nice. you know, but, you know, but they had a lot of. I mean, they, you know, so I put together a pretty cool little Any deal. Any option you wanted? Yeah, no, no. Thank I, you I so felt much. Like that, good I felt like sir. that was a victory, right? I mean, because <laughs> you know, last time I went to uh, that's a pretty good deal. Yeah, last time I went to uh, went to Galveston, I. I tried to find beer at like walmart and they like i mean i end up getting shiner or something anyway mm. so i mean but they had all they had all the st arnold's i mean they had a great selection right so you know but um and then the other the other so you know cans we've got cans six pack of cans took it down to the beach um now i've taught myself now from moving forward figure out where the porta pot is before you you know <laughs> yeah then you yeah yeah <laughs> So, well, that's I don't and know. And there's one. It's at, there's a, there's one at 61st Street. So I mean, you know, up up on, up on the seawall. I mean, oh, yeah. I get up. Uh, might actually swing by here and pick up some beer because you, you all have beer to go in the fridge right there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. I heard that you can get the Spring Break pass for like. Oh, for the the, the pleasure <laughs> pier. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's like, funny. It's starting to become more valuable. Right. Now. Exactly. No, you're 100 percent correct. So, and I did the math in my head. So. Uh, if you go three times, you come out ahead. So, so <laughs> you know, yeah. So you know, because one time, so a one day pass is twenty four ninety five. You know, yeah. you know, Landry's a client, but twenty four ninety five. <laughs> the the uh, three the, the the whole spring break deal is is a little bit less than three times that. I love so, engineers. Yeah, so you gotta you know you gotta gotta you know do the math. Cheers, to engineers. So, Cheers. So speaking of hey, you know enjoying the good times and stuff, you know a lot of us are parents here sitting at this table. Um, you know, and being a, a brewery that is kid friendly is really important. What do you guys think is like one of the most? <laughs> Sorry, we got distracted. Yeah, they're busy <laughs> taking pictures. <laughs> You know, kid friendly beers are are, are kid friendly beers. <laughs> <laughs> kid friendly beer. That's not zero point zero the, uh, you're talking about. Yeah, yeah the, uh, the imperial. Uh, That's a new concept. <laughs> I like it. Kid friendly beers. Th- th- those are the zero ABV beers that people are talking about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. kid friendly Hanukkah breweries. Yes. Maybe two percent. Like slushies, for all we know. My gosh, have we had a lot of beer tonight? Well, I mean, in Russia, if it's <laughs> not <less> enough. Than... <laughs> yeah. I'd say not enough. Yeah. Well, you guys are kid friendly. I mean, I always see kids in the tap room. There's board games for them to hang it's out. Right. You we know. Yes. Yeah. I mean, in, in the events, you always have the the jumpy house outside, yep. and it's fun. I'll throw this question out there because we asked. We used to ask this a lot on the show. Right. What is what is a brewery in town that you guys look up to? You know, from a brewery, a brewing aspect, and also like a tap room vibe. You know, like what do you think? Which brewery nah, do you man. have that, that I would really say hits that? Island on my point, Galveston nice, Island, nice. yeah. And they just got to upgrade on their yeah. playground too. Oh, yeah. 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 Nah, that, that's easy for me. Uh, I mean, is, 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 is it a tie between Galveston Island and, and Balance? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, every time I've been to either place, I've always felt comfortable. I've got kids. I've got a family. If I'm there by myself. I have a good time. If I'm there with my wife and my family, I have a good time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and buck this trend. I'm going to go all the way north side. Uh, <laughs> you do that. But, like, 
back pew has oh, a well, beautiful yeah. location. Yeah. No, I, I love, love that. the church. I love, love the big outdoor space. Like it's it's a good spot. If it's you're willing to vibe. go the distance, yeah, Alex is right. No matter what I said, he said, he said, you're gonna have a good time. <laughs> See, it just, no, that was so easily said.